Uh, it'd be great maybe if you just do an introduction on the UK SOX and how you think uh, it's going to be implemented. Yeah, it, it, it's really interesting. So um, I guess if we, if we maybe talk a little bit about, you know, why why this is happening, there have been a number of very significant kind of business failures. So if you think of Carillion, think of things like Patisserie Valerie, uh, you know, to, to name but a few. So, you know, these are very big listed businesses. And, you know, one would expect, you know, a listed business would have significant controls in place and, and, and very robust procedures around their financial reporting and, and knowing exactly you know, how much cash they've got and, and what position they're in, et cetera. And, um, and it was a bit of a shock to the system, really, when companies that big and who were supposed to be subject to quite a lot of regulatory oversight uh, failed, right? Fa- and they failed because the financial statements they were um, they were putting out to the market were, were just factually wrong, right? And really that that is what set off a whole train of uh, reviews within the Treasury and the Department of um, Business Energy and whatever else is in there <laughs> these days to, to really look at that and say, look, how can this happen, right? How, how can we get to a point where organizations that are, that are supposed to have really strong controls and robust processes in place can, can actually misstate you know, their financial statements so, so fundamentally. Um, and you know, the bigger issue is that if people don't have trust in, in those financial statements, then it kind of undermines the whole kind of ecosystem of, of finance and the funding uh, you know, for, for the UK. So, uh, so, re- so really, um, th- this thing that we call UK SOC started off as a, as a review by the government with a, with a very grand title of how can we restore faith and trust in, in, in the reporting regime of the UK. And what they have settled on after looking at a variety of ways of doing this is something that is a lot like Sarbanes-Oxley over in the US, hence why we have this kind of nickname, which is UK SOX. And, and essentially, if you think about Sarbanes-Oxley, the heart of Sarbanes-Oxley is the directors of the company personally attesting to the fact that the financial statements are correct um, and also attesting that um, they have reviewed the controls and the processes and everything that goes into creating those financial statements so that they can make that attestation, if you like, with a, with a level of certainty. And it's that same concept that's now being brought into the UK.